Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code, where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Webflow. I've got merch, <laughs> kind of. It's not Webflow and Code merch, but it's Flow State merch, which is the unlimited Webflow subscription service that I offer. So if you do want to support the channel, because it directly supports me doing this sort of stuff, then head on over to flowstate.dev, go in the store and pick up yourself a t-shirt. Really excited to offer these, quite reserved. I don't like big, bold designs. You've got like Flow State written on the back there. You know, I like quite cool designs. So there you go, I have merch. So a few weeks ago, I made a video on my first impressions of Framer. The dust has settled a bit and I've been using Framer to build websites and understand it just that little bit more. In this video, I wanna do a summary of the two, where I think the strengths and weaknesses lie and my recommendations for you going forward. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that Framer is brand new at this point, all things considered. So if you were to compare any piece of software after a year into its existence, it's not gonna be the same tool and we can't be too harsh on Framer. With that being said, here are my assessments on Framer versus Webflow as of August, 2023. Now the headline here, just to get it out the way, is that if you are brand new to web development, Framer is a much better tool for you. It abstracts most of the web development concepts away from you and instead allows you to focus on creating your design. You simply create frames, style them as you wish, and either stack them or grid them to create that layout that web development is known for. If you already know Webflow, I'd be hesitant to transfer because Webflow is a much more advanced tool and you will likely know web development concepts like classes, HTML, and JavaScript. Now with that out the way, let's dig in just a little bit more because there are some things you might wanna consider that will determine which tool is right for you. The main one being Framer's integration with Figma. I think this is exactly where Framer really wants you to advance to. If you're happy building a website with Framer's pre-built components or you're happy to work with basic designs, then stay within Framer. However, if you wanna build more advanced websites that come close to the sort of websites Webflow is capable of, then you're likely gonna to wanna to export your designs built in Figma with auto layout. And the auto layout thing is very important for this thing to work. In a sentence, if you're more comfortable with Figma, then you might wanna consider Framer. However, as I said in my first video, all paths lead to the same place. And by that, I mean you will not be learning web development concepts, which quite frankly puts you at a disadvantage to those that do in terms of debugging when things go wrong, creating more advanced layouts, and of course, interactions in JavaScript. To me, this is a really nice path to learn web development as your knowledge of web development grows. From being a designer who knows nothing about web development to framer, which teaches you about layout and, and how to position elements and how they play kind of against each other, to Webflow, which brings you closer to actual coding concepts like HTML and CSS. And then if you really want to advance to my personal favorite, PineGrow, which is complete free reign, do whatever you want. So once again, if you know nothing about web development or you don't intend on learning anything about web development, whether that's you want to live in Figma or you're happy building basic websites, then Framer is your guy. But if you want to build more advanced websites and become better at web development or already know Webflow, then stick with Webflow. To me, there's no incentive at this current moment to switch from Webflow to Framer unless you're an advanced Figma user who has mastered auto layout variables and has really clean projects. I hope this helps. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or if you have anything to add. If you are interested in using either of these services, then consider using the links in my description as it helps me out a lot. Oh, and before you go, consider signing up to my Discord. I'll leave the link below. If you want to support the channel, then leave a super thanks. And until next time, happy no coding.